Oops. You got the record going, Shen? Okay. <laughs> Always gotta double check. All right, Puja, everyone. This is part four of Anishinaabe one. Today we're gonna focus on VTA verbs. So, just a quick recap. Oh, let's go. There we go. So, Niga Niga Boy Kindigo, Omashkos Dotem, Manitubut Gong Donji, Chris Kopnes Dijnikos. So, my name is Carissa or Niga Niga whichever one you're more comfortable with. Um, and I am the Gawich to Anishinaabe Moin coordinator for the Anishinaabe Moda Initiative. Uh, also on the call with me is Shannon King Wawategijigok, who is our Anishinaabe Moda manager for the program. So last time we did a video two weeks ago together, uh, we talked about VTIs and how to use them in their most basic forms. If you didn't get to watch that one, it is on our YouTube channel if you want to review it. Um, we talked about using gi and we to indicate past and future tense. Uh, we also talked about adding inanimate nouns to VTI sentences and the order of personal prefixes, tenses, preverbed verbs, personal suffixes, pluralization, and negative endings. So that was a, we had a really good session last time. Um, I feel like we learned a lot together. So today we're going to once again go over a few things about nouns and verbs really quick because it's just a review. Um, then we're going to get into VTAs, and then at the end we have our feedback questions as usual. Okay, so just a quick review. Uh, initial of MON nouns are either animate or inanimate, and then they can be singular or plural. So our focus today is going to be on animate nouns versus last time we talked about inanimate nouns. So we're looking at singular, ikwe, one woman, or ikwe wug, more than one woman. For inanimate nouns, makak, a box, or makakun, more than one box. Um, so, so far we've talked about VIIs. So those are states of being or um, just a description of something that doesn't affect anything else. So there's something like misqua, it is red. It's a descriptive word, it doesn't affect anything else. Uh, VAI is describing something that is animate, either it might be a person or it might be an animate object, but the thing that, that we're describing is not affecting anyone else. Okay, so Miss Cosette, she or he is red. VTIs um, are an animate subject affecting an inanimate subject. Okay, so they're uh, an animate person or an animal affecting something inanimate. Okay. So, misquadison, she or he dyes it red. So, something inanimate, they're dyeing it red. Okay. And then, BTAs, which is what we're going to talk about today, is an animate subject affecting an animate object. So, uh, misquadis, she or he dyes it red, but it's an animate object instead this time. Okay. So she's dyeing something animate red. So say she's dyeing her bread red, right? Misquadis. So these type of verbs um, describe, let me get rid of this, describe an action being done by someone animate to someone or something that is animate. The main verb form is always in second or third person, or sorry, always in second to third person command form. So right away it's in command form and it has to be conjugated in order to change. So some examples that we're going to use today are undom, call for, summon for, or ask for him. Okay, so you're calling for him to come over, you're summoning him to come over, or you're asking for him from someone else, okay? Versus gugwejum, which is ask him. So you're asking him something. Um, I might either say him or her as we're going, but it can be either one, just keep that in mind. Uh, bakete, uh, hit him. 
Okay. And join them, love him or her. So starting off with the command conjugations, you guys can print this if you want on our website. I did link it in the event on Facebook, okay, the actual section where we have all the VTA things available. So our command conjugations are abbreviated. There are a lot more than this, but in terms of being just a beginner, these might be the ones that you're gonna use the most. So we have them there. So all you do is you take your verb. Now, ETAs can get confusing because there are many different kinds. I've chosen basic ones so that they're easy for you to conjugate to get learning the conjugations. Okay. So the verb that we're gonna use is gagwajim. Okay, gagwajim. So you to me, gagwajim mishin. Gagwajim mishin. So that means you give or you ask him or sorry no <laughs> you ask me okay good way to machine you ask me okay good way to machine gaggle good way to machine gaggle good way to machine you don't ask me i don't want to be asked you don't ask me okay maybe you should ask someone else you all to me, Gagwaja Mashig. Gagwaja Mashig. And I want to encourage you, like, as you're sitting there, say these, okay? Because the more you say them, the sounds are going to stick in your head. So, Gagwaja Mashig. So, that means you all ask me. So, if I was talking to everybody in the chat, Gagwaja Mashig, you all ask me. Gago, Gagwaja Mishikagon. Gago, Gagwaja Mishikagon. And they're down here if you want to see the whole sentence. So that means you all don't ask me. So the negatives, you might not use them as often as the positive ones, um, but they are there as well. Okay? So you or you all ask us. Gagwaja Mishinam. Gagwaja Mishinam. So if I wanted to say uh, you, somebody in the chat, or you all, all of you in the chat, ask us, say me and Shannon, we want you to ask us something. And then the negative. So you, to him or them, it can be singular or plural based on the context of the conversation. It doesn't change um, with the commands. So you ask him, gagwajim, gagwajim, okay? So that's the basic verb in itself, so it doesn't need to change, gagwajim, okay? Gago, gagwajim, so you don't ask him. I'm sorry. Okay. You all ask him or them. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's down here. So you all don't ask him and don't ask them. Okay. So those are the basic um, commands that you might see the most often. Um, so again, you could take any of our other words and use them in there. So if I wanted to say joanum uh, instead, which is a common verb because everybody knows joanum in. Okay, I love you, Jawainaman. So if I wanted to say, you love me, Jawaina Mishin. Okay, I don't know if you would say that, but there it is. That's how you can do it. Okay. All right. So those are commands. And that again, that's abbreviated. Um, this isn't all of them. Okay. 
So I gave you the most basic ones just to start. I can't see the chat, so I'm looking. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> there you go. All right. So VTA A form conjugations. Again, these aren't all of them. There are way more than this. Um, but these are the ones that I've found that I use the most often or see the most often when I'm translating something. Okay, so these are the most common ones that I've seen. So uh, for this one, I use joanum. Okay, and sometimes it might not make sense to have that verb with a certain conjugation, but it does go in there, so we'll just use it as the example. So a form, you to me, so you to me. Gijawainim, Gijawainim. And sometimes it helps if you're using your hands. I can't see myself, so I hope you guys can see my hands. <laughs> Gijawainim, okay? Gijawainim, you love me. Gawain Gijawainim is see. Gawain Gijawainim is see. You don't love me. Gawain Gijawainim is see. And then you go over to I to you. This is a common one, right? Gijawainam. Gijawainam. I love you. Gijawainam. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Gijawainam in. I missed the ending. Jeez. Gijawainam in. I'm just having all kinds of fun today, guys. Gijawainam in. Okay. And then for I don't love you, Gawain Gijawainam misanoon. Gawain Gijawainam misanoon. Okay. Uh, you might not say that, maybe. I don't know, if you're having a fight with somebody and you want to say that, you can go ahead. Um, now you know how, okay? So then the next two, I to him or them. So I to him is nit a, him or her. So one person, I to him or her, one person. Nit og would be I to them, more than one person, okay? So, Nijuanama, we'll pretend him or her is over here. Oh, geez, that bug just hit the window. Nijuanama, Nijuanama, okay? And then if there's more than one over there, Nijuanamog, Nijuanamog, okay? Gawi Nijuanamasi, Gawin Nijuanamasi, him or her doesn't love me. Okay? Gawin Nijuanamasi. And they don't love me. Gawin Nijuanamasi. So you're seeing how we're just ending it and adding that G on the end. Okay? Now I put the whole conjugation here just so you could see it. So a C or a Sieg. But you could also just leave a G there. For the plural. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why there's an end there. Forgot to get rid of that end. Get rid of that end. <laughs> okay. So those are the that one. And then if I wanted to, oh heck, what did I do here? Okay. Yeah, I messed that up, guys. My bad. <laughs> Nijuan Amog. Nijuana ma, I to him or them, I love him. Nijuana ma. Okay. Nijuana mog, I love them. Gawin nijuana ma si, I don't love him. Gawin nijuana ma si, I don't love them. My bad, I told you it was the other way. It's not. <laughs> okay. So now if we want to go the other way, she or he or they to me. Okay, ni'ig, ni'ig is him or her to me, and ni'igug is them to me. Okay, so nijuana mig, nijuana mig, okay, she loves me, nijuana migug, they love me, nijuana migug, okay, negative, going nijuana magosi, Gawin nijuanam go see. 
Hey, they, she doesn't love me. Gawin nijawinam go seek. Hey, they don't love me. All right, so that's how those ones work. Sorry about that, guys. My brain's all over today. All right, so you to him or her. Okay, so now I'm pointing at you guys to him or her. So you to him or her is get off. You to them is get og. Okay, so gijuanama, gijuanama. You love him. You want to tease your friend? Get your way in a mog. You love him. Okay. Get your way in a mog. Get your way in a mog. You love them. Okay. So maybe you're talking about your family or you're saying you love your family. Get your way in a mog. You love them. Okay. And then to say negative, gawin get your way in a mossy. Gawin get your way in a mossy. You don't love him or her. Gawin gijuena ma seek. Gawin gijuena ma seek. You don't love him or her. Or them, sorry. You don't love them. Okay. Other way, okay, now from him or her or they to you. Get ig is she or he to you. Get igug is them to you. Okay, so we're going to go this way now. So, gijuena mig. Gijuena mig, she loves you. Gijuena magug, gijuena magug, okay? They love you. Okay? And then for negative, gawin, get a go see or get a go see. Okay? So, gawin, gijuena mago see. Gawin gives you a go see. She doesn't love you. Gawin gives you a go see. Gawin gives you a go see. They don't love you. Okay? Real sad sentences. Okay. So then Anishinaabem when does this fun thing called fourth person. <laughs> um, so this is like, I am talking to. Uh, Shannon, okay, about her daughter's pet, okay, and the pet would be the fourth person. Shannon would be second person. I'm talking to her, okay, I'm talking to you, Shannon. Then third person would be her daughter, and then the fourth person would be the daughter's dog or cat or if they had a pet. <laughs> okay, they don't have a pet yet. <laughs> okay. So, Ojoen Amon, Ojoen Amon, okay, him or her to fourth person. So that would mean the daughter loves her pet. Okay, Ojoen Amon, the daughter loves her pet. Okay, I know it's kind of a, if you haven't really heard the fourth person stuff yet, it can be a little difficult to understand at first. But I know that this one gets used a lot in storytelling, so it's a good one to know. Gawin ojoena masi. Gawin ojoena masi. So this is the daughter doesn't love her pet. Okay, doesn't love him or her the pet. Gawin ojoena masi. And then if we're going the other way, so we'll say the fourth person is the pet. And him or her is the daughter. So, Ojoena Magoon. Ojoena Magoon. So, the pet loves the daughter. Okay, Ojoena Magoon. And then, Gawin Ojoena Magosi. Gawin Ojoena Magosi. The pet doesn't love the daughter. Okay. Gawin Ojoena Magosi. I'm going to check the chat real quick. <laughs> All right. So then you can also do plurals or uh, them to fourth. Okay. 
this one you might not see as much, but it's good to know. So we'll say that the them is all of Shannon's daughters <laughs> to the pet, okay? <laughs> so Ojoana Mawan, Ojoana Mawan, okay? They, the daughters, love the pet. Ojoana Mawan, they love him or her, okay? Galeen Ojoana Masiwawan, Galeen Ojoana Masiwawan, so that's, they don't love the pet, okay? They don't love, the daughters don't love the pet. So this would be me talking to Shannon, right? So I'm talking to Shannon about the girls and their pet, okay? So then we'll go the other way, the pet to the daughters. Ojoana Magowan, Ojoana Magowan, okay? So the pet loves them. Pet loves the daughters. Ojoana Magowan. So, and then negative. Galeen Ojoana Magosiwan. Galeen Ojoana Magosiwan. So the pet doesn't love the daughters. <laughs> now I know those are kind of difficult. Um, if you guys want to ask a question, you can unmute yourselves. I know I kind of mixed them up up here. Sorry about that. Um, but if you want to ask questions, you can unmute yourself and ask at any time. Okay, or just stop me. If Shannon sees a question in the chat too, she can interrupt me and read it out. So let's go over them real quick again. We'll just say these together, okay? Gijewainam, Gawain, Gijewainam Isi. Gijewainam in, Gawain, Gijewainam Isinun. Nijewainam ma, Nijewainam mag. Gawain, Nijewainam ma si, Gawain, Nijewainam ma si. Nijewainam mig, Nijewainam migug. Gawain Nijewena Magosi. Gawain Nijewena Magosig. Gijewena Ma. Gijewena Mog. Gawain Gijewena Ma Si. Gawain Gijewena Ma Sig. Gijewena Mig. Gijewena Magoog. Gawain Gijewena Magosi. Gawain Gijewena Magosi. Ojoena Mon. Gawain Ojoena Masi. Ojoena Magoon. Gawain Ojoena Magosi. Ojoena. Oops, Ojoana Mawan. Gawain Ojoana Masi Wawan. Ojoana Magowan. Gawain Ojoana Magosi Wan. Okay, so I'm just saying these the way that I've been taught. If you say it differently in your community, you should definitely say it your way or double check with your community speakers um, to make sure that you're saying it the way it's said in your community, because they can differ. All right, we're gonna do some conjugation pieces. So these are available on our website to print um, as actual physical pieces, as you can see in the picture here. Um, or you can download the Smart Notebook uh, document to use. You're going to need the Smart Notebook software, which is uh, a free trial for 45 days. And then after the 45 days, you can either buy it or you can use the limited mode for free for as long as you want. Okay, so let me pull that up. Okay, so this time I did it a little different um, where you, I just did 
uh, command forms to start. I use the limited mode right now. I'm waiting on a license. Um, if anybody is interested, we could always have like a little Zoom meeting and I can show you how to work a smart notebook to try and build something like this. So um, I started out differently this time. We're only doing command forms to start. Um, so if you have your commands, you can check those out too. Um, or you could pull it up on your computer and look at it there as well, because it is on our website. So how would I say, you don't ask me? You don't ask me. So it's command form. I'm going to pull up the chat in case somebody is there. You don't ask me. Oh, I see Kevin's answer there. Okay, so go, go, you need. And the verb is gagwejem for ask him. Oh, you guys can't see my... Can you see what I'm doing on the smart notebook? No? No, just your PowerPoint. Heck. One second. I guess I have to change it. I'm used to using two screens. I'm only using one today. Can you see it now? Okay. We're good to go. Sorry about that. Okay. So I seen Kevin's answer there. So he said, Gago, Gagwajim, Shikain. So Gago, Gagwajim. And then you need the ending, Shikain. Okay. And then you can rewrite them here. So this is available, this whole document is available for you guys to download um, and change it up however you want. Okay, so next one. You all don't hit them. You all don't hit them. Something you could talk to the kids about, right? <laughs> you all don't hit them. What do we need? So we need a gago. Yeah. What is the right verb for hit him? Bakte. Kite. Hey, Buju. Okay, okay. Which ending do we need? Ishkegon. Ishkegon, yeah. So we just go in there like that. And then when you rewrite it, okay, that's how it would look. Oh, Kevin's got a different way of saying it. Is that from your area, Kevin, how you say it? Uh, I understand Gego bucket to Ishikagun as you all don't hit me. Y'all don't hit me. Hmm. But it might be different where I'm from. Yeah, it might be a little a little change there. I'll double check it, but I'm pretty sure that's how we say it. <laughs> um Krista? Yeah. For, for my area too, like for like Lacrae, we would say, Kego bakete o kegon. It's the way we would say it. Bakete o? Bakete o kegon, yeah. I need to win the math. Or the wa for Kevin's area. Okay. All right. So again, different areas, right? say different things. Um, this is the way I learned it, but it could be, I might need to double check too. <laughs> all right, so next one, you all summon me. 
You all summon me. Which verb do we need? Mantom. Mantom. Okay. And I see Organize got the other one there. Shik. Okay. He wrote it with an A on it. Or another N, sorry. Next one, this is the last command one. Okay, and then we're gonna move into A form. You all love us. You all love us. What's the verb for love him? Joanna. Joanna. Okay, and then which ending do we need? <laughs> That's not the right verb, Kevin. Mishnam. Mishnam. Joanna Mishnam. So joinum can have more than one meaning as well. Um, you might use it in a different way. Some people use zagat instead of joinum, um, but around here I tend to hear joinum more often than zagat. Okay. So now we're gonna move into the A form ones. We've got different endings. See, okay. So I love him or her. I to him or her and the verb for love. Ne. 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 Joanne Ma. Joanne Ma. I love H. I love H. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that the other day. It's kind of a cool thing about our language is it's not really saying him or her or any form of gender. You could use even the singular they there, right? Mijuana Ma. I love him or her. Or you could be talking about a piece of bannock. Mijuana Ma. I love him or her, right? Ban examinate. Right. You are not calling for them. Not calling for them. Again, the English sentences are kind of weird, but it's just to get you using the pieces. So what do we need? Gawin. Gawin. Oh geez, did I forget to put Gawin in here? Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna have to upload a new copy of this. Okay, we need a Gawin. I'll just build one real quick. Wow. My mistake, guys. Okay. Got it. Mm, okay. 
Now we gotta go. <laughs> uh, Gid? Yeah. Andom? Mm -hmm. uh, as, uh, Asik? Mm -hmm. So, if you look at your chart, right? You got your charts. <laughs> Double check. You to them. Asik, yeah. So VTAs are still not my strong point, but I know enough to teach a little bit. So if you guys aren't sure about something, double check with a fluent speaker or a more advanced language learner. Okay. That's how it would look when you're done. So remember that those connectors come into play when the, when the verb starts with an A. Next one, they are asking for the fourth person. So those girls, you know, they're asking for their pet. So they took four, what do we need? <laughs> okay, Kevin's got it there. So we need an O. We need a verb, on them. And then we got on. Okay. Uh, so here we would do this. This is a little different. Okay. okay. One more? Yeah. Oh, I need to make another Galween on here. Get this in boots. So you guys can see how I just I took little pictures from the actual original. Um, sets of conjugation pieces and I just turn them into an infinite folder. Okay, she or he is not hitting you. She or he is not hitting you. Uh, Gawin. Gawin. Going good, back a day. Yep. Um, uh, going back a day. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it goes see. It yeah. goes see. <laughs> That's okay. I lost it. <laughs> I lost it. That's okay. <laughs> Go see. There you go. There's your sentence. Okay. So I'm gonna leave the last, I think the last two have tense with them. Yeah, we'll leave those until we go through the tense. Okay. So now let's need to share this again. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this time we're gonna play Kahoot. So on your, yes, trying to play Kahoot again, you guys know I love it. Okay, so on your device, go to kahoot.it or on your computer, you can pull up another screen. Okay, kahoot.it. And I'm gonna get that up. Oops, not that one. 
Can you guys see the code okay? So even if you're not going to play, it's good to follow along and say the sentences as we go. seconds to get on there if you want. I'm not sure how many participants we have. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, if you come in late to the game, that's okay. The pin will be at the bottom of the screen as well. All right, 12 questions this time. Translate, you hit him. You hit him. Okay, so look at that is you hit him. So it's a command. Okay, next one, true or false. The Gwaja machine equals you ask me. The Gwaja machine. Okay, next question. Translate Gijawainamin. Gijawainamin. Close. So Gijawain Min is I love you. Gijawainam is you love me. Okay, so watch that ending there. Okay. So I've got some more of those puzzle questions for the next two questions. So you're gonna be given four pieces of an Anishinaabe Moin sentence that you have to put in the right order to translate the English sentence. Okay, so I didn't make them too hard, but there's four pieces you got to put in the right order. All right, and you get a whole minute to do these ones, so there's a little more time. Four doesn't love him or her. And then when you get the pieces in order on your phone, make sure you hit that button at the bottom to submit it. Music on this one is so like intense. <laughs> okay, 
Why everybody got it right. So the correct order, Galene, Ojewain, and Migosi. Galene, Ojewain, and Migosi. Four doesn't love him or her. Good. All right, we got another puzzle one. They are summoning me. They are summoning me. Make sure you're hitting that submit button. So the correct order, nin or ni, right, would be the beginning, and then it transforms to nind because of the a. Nindando migug. Nindando mig would be here. She is summoning me. Or sorry, nindando migu would be she or he is summoning me. Nindando migug would be they are summoning me. Okay. I don't know who Scoots Magoots is, but that's a pretty funny name. All right, back to the quiz questions. Translate. Gagol gagwe jimishinam. Gagol gagwe jimishinam. You don't ask us. You don't ask us. Okay. True or false? Gago on the mocking. You don't summon me. That one was false. So if you look at your chart, okay, go on the mocking. You don't summon him or them. Okay. Translate Bonjour Amon. Bonjour Amon. He loves the fourth person. Okay. Bonjour, Amon. Okay, so we're going to go into those uh, puzzle questions again. So, again, four pieces put into the right order to translate the English sentence. I am asking them. I am asking them.
<laughs> yeah, let's just get more and more intense. <laughs> Almost everyone. Ningue Jamog. Ningue Jamog. So Niz, I, Gagwejam, ask him. One person would be ah, and then to ask them would be og. Ningue Jamog. Okay, last question. One more puzzle one. Translate, I am not hitting you. Hundred percent on that one. Going to book it days and noon. You should have the music from Jeopardy in the background. <laughs> Kahoot music is a whole nother level big. <laughs> okay, let's see. Who is Scoots and Boots? <laughs> Turn that music up. <laughs> so, go back into this. That was a fun one. I really like the new puzzle questions because they let you kind of play around with it. All right, so I'm just going to go over tense a little bit um, in terms of using it with VTAs. Um, so a lot of VTAs also use ga with them, um, but we're just focusing on gi and we today. So joanum, using joanum with the I to him or her or him or her to me. Okay, so in gi joanama, in gi joanama, okay, so I loved him or her, past tense. Ni joanama. I love him or her now. Nui Joanama. I want to or I will love him or her. Okay. And then the other way, him or her to me. Ningi Joanna Mig. He or she loved me. Ning Joanna Mig. Right now, he or she loves me. Nui Joanna Mig. I want to or I will, or sorry, he or she wants to or will love me. Maybe you're plotting something. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to see the chat here. It won't pop up. Sorry, guys, I can't see the chat for some reason. Oops. Okay, so again, there's those personal prefixes there um, because it starts with a Z, right? You use nin. And because there's a G here, you would use nin as well. Okay, so uh, looking at the ones that change again, we're going to use Gugwejum for I to you and you to me. So past tense, Gigi Gugwejumin. So I asked you, Gigi Gugwejumin. Gigi Gugwejum, you asked me. Past tense, Gigi Gugwejum. Present tense, 
Kikwejamin, I'm asking you. Kikwejam, you're asking me. Future tense, Kikwejamin, I want to ask you or I will ask you. Kikwejam, you will ask me or you want to ask me. Okay. You can see that letter change there. Okay, G to K with the tense. Okay. So there's no initial consonant change if the verb is soft well followed by a hard consonant. That's something that you tend to learn as you go, but most of the verbs will change. Okay. So adding animate nouns to VTA sentences, it's very common to what we did with VTIs last time. So in order to add a noun to a VTA sentence, the noun has to be animate. Okay, VTAs go with animate nouns. So we're gonna use two new verbs, similar to how we did with VTIs. We use odapanun and bagitanun. Now we're gonna use odapanamal and bagitanamal. Okay, odapanamal means pick him up, something animate, him or her. Bagitanamal, set him down, something animate. Okay, and then we're going to use the animate noun bequejigun for bread or a bannock. Okay, so something common that we all seem to like. Okay, so to make it a command, so adopinamal bequejigun, you pick up the bread. Okay, bequejigun, bequejigun, put the bread down, set it down. Okay. Trying to be a supportive friend, I guess, on somebody's diet. We get in a mall, gun. You could also say the gun first, the gun, we get in a mall. Okay, so either way it works. Okay, and then a form I used um, I to him or her. So Nindu dop in a mall, the gun. Nindu dop in a mall, the gun. I'm picking up the bread. Okay. I'm setting it down or I'm putting down the bread. Uh, negative. I'm not picking up the bread. I'm not putting down the bread. I'm going to eat it. Okay. <laughs> that sounds more like me. Okay, so say them again. We're dropping a mall bequeasy gun. But get in a mall bequeasy gun. Or you can reverse them. Bequeasy gun or drop in a mall. Bequeasy gun, but get in a mall. Okay. Nindu drop in a mall, bequeasy gun. Nindu drop in a mall, bequeasy gun. Negatives. Gawain nindu dapanamawa si kwezi gun. Gawain nindu dapanamawa si kwezi gun. Gawain nbagitanamawa si kwezi gun. Gawain nbagitanamawa si Okay, so that's how you would put uh, a verb in, or sorry, a noun in with the VTAs. So it could be any animate for any animate noun with a VTA. Okay, and then I did some more um, of the order things so that you could kind of see how they go together. So we have personal prefix ni, the verb gugwejim. And the personal suffix plural negation piece is ig. Ingagwejamik. She is asking me. Okay. This one has all the things. So we have personal prefix ke, tense is we. Preverb can be in there, gugwe. Uh, the verb joinum. And ig is the suffix. Okay. She wants to try and love you. Might be trying to tell your friend something, okay? She wants to try and love you, but you're being a butt. 
I don't know. Okay. Can we make a way to make? Okay. Uh, then the piece is o. Tense is gi. Akete is the verb. And asi is the uh, negative personal suffix. Gawin ogi pakete asi. She or he did not hit fourth person. Okay. Gawin ogi pakete asi. Personal prefix is ge. Verb is andong. And the negative suffix is sinun. Gawin gedandong sinun. I'm not calling for you. Gawin gedandong sinun. I'm not calling for you. And then the fifth one, O is the personal prefix, G is the tense, Pagetinamal is the verb, and Asiwawan is the ending. Gawin Ogi Pagetinamal Asiwawan, they did not set four down. Okay, they did not set four down. Gawin Ogi Pagetinamal Asiwawan. That's a long one. Kawin ogi begitinamawa siwawan. Okay. So if you um, are interested in learning more about uh, conjugating BTA verbs, I really like these lists on Anishinaabe and Win Learners Grammar. Um, I've put this personal pronouns chart up because I know it can be difficult to figure out all those codes. So sometimes you'll see like one and then a, a I can remember those arrow things to 2P and you're like, what does that even mean? And what it means is I to you all. Okay, so it's good to know. Or sometimes you'll see the Ojibwe words. So it'll be like mean to Ginawa. And you're like, well, what is mean and what is Ginawa? So you have the Ojibwe, the English and the number. So if you need those, they're there. I'm going to click this and show you. Can you guys see the website? No? <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay, one second. How about now? Can you guys see the website? Yeah, okay. So, um, this is just the VTA one. Um, when you go to the actual website, I just keep it on my bookmarks. This is what it looks like. Um, this is all based on Rand Valentine's work. Um, and then I go into paradigms and I can see all the different ones. So we've worked on VAI, VII, and VTI, and there is more to those than what I taught you. So if you're interested, um, you can go and look further. But I click on VTAs. And I mentioned that VTAs do end in more than just um, regulars, like Gwajim is a regular verb form. Um, you could also see how they change for different verb endings. Okay. But I go into the regulars and I can see all of these endings for independent positive. So that's A form. Okay, so I showed you uh, get in, right? So they're using Wabam, which means see him or her. Get Wabam in. I see. Sorry, I see you. Okay, I see you is kewabamin. Then you'd say uh, 1s to 3s, nawabama, I see him or her. So you can go down and see all these different endings that are there. There's a lot of VTAs. And these are just A form positives. Then they have negatives, uh, B form, commands positive and commands negative, but they're all here. So that's where you can double check those. If you're looking for something in particular, okay, you can check those out. Uh, I really like that website just for when I need to. For some reason, I can't see the chat, guys. Sorry, I can see that you're messaging, but I can't see it. It said, uh, what's the fifth person? The fifth person? Actually, I'm not really sure myself. Maybe somebody else could speak to that. Anybody knows?
No, nobody wants to speak to it? Okay. <laughs> Not today, anyone? <laughs> So that's my understanding was my understanding was that it's something like um, like you were talking about third on fourth and then it was like like if it was raining at that person's house the fifth per or the fourth person's house and then talking about like the rain or something okay yeah, so something like fifth person okay that makes sense <laughs> so it's even more complicated yeah. <laughs> Oops. Struggling here. Okay, so that website's there if you want it. Um, you can download this PowerPoint on our website so that you can have the links in there, but I'll send it in here too. Um, get to it. So there's the link there in the chat if you need it. And then I'm gonna share the PowerPoint again. Okay, so those little things are there if you need them. Um, if you download the PowerPoint, this is an actual link that you can click. Um, I know that Ishkina Schnaub and Jig2 has been doing some BTA work, which is really cool. Um, I watched a little bit of it the other day, so if you want to go follow their YouTube channel, they also have a lot of cool stuff. All right, so we're at the point of feedback and certificates. Oops. Um, so if you want a certificate from participating in this session, uh, you can complete the feedback form. I'll put the link in the uh, chat for you. One second. Um, and using that feedback, you know, it's really good for us because then we can see what more you would like. So this is our last grammar type session. So I'm looking now to see what you would like to see in two weeks. So that's the link for the feedback form. I'll also put it in the Facebook event page. And then we will send you a certificate um, before the next session. And it just says that you completed that, this session with us, and that you um, um, can use it for your, I don't know, your professional portfolios that you might have. Some jobs require professional development hours, so you can use them for that. Looks like you have to open the... Is it not open again? <laughs> Not accepting responses, you mean? Yep. There you go. It's open. <laughs> okay. And then if you need to get a hold of us, can you guys see the PowerPoint again? Okay. So if you need to get a hold of us, um, me and Shannon, we have our emails there, or you can message us on the Facebook page, um, which is probably where we'll respond the fastest. Um, or you can email us at our general email for the program on Google. Okay. And we're going to have a recording of this session up in the near future. Um, but you can also see all of these resources on our website. So if you didn't get them on the website, oh, that's linking there real quick too. Mm. I'm just going to show you the website again really quick and then we'll be done. So on our website, um, under the, the resources tab, you would go to learners and then you would come to this page. Scroll down. You can see videos of all of our fluent speakers doing their sessions here. And we are having another session with Roy Tom tomorrow at one. So you can inbox us on the page for that code if you haven't already. And then all of our professional development sessions, these three are the ones that we have been running in person previous to the stay at home, uh, I guess, era. <laughs> and then our online sessions are recorded and the resources are provided here. And then the sessions with Jason Jones as well have been recorded and his resources are provided there.
So Jason will be back teaching next week. And I believe it's Doreen next week as well for the fluent speaker. But tomorrow is Roy Tom again, and he's going to be talking about games and Anishinaab in one. So that's where all those resources are. I was going to get you this. So this is the VTA stuff that we just did. PowerPoint conjugation pieces, if you want to print them, make a copy, or you can use the digital one. I'll put a new copy up actually because you need those galleons in there. And then VTA commands and VTA A form. They're all editable, so if it's different in your community or you say it different, you can change it up. So there is the link for that. And that is everything for today. Does anybody have any questions or need anything before we wrap up? Okay. All right. Thank you much for coming, guys. Be great. Be great. Be great. Be great. Be great. Be great.